In this tutorial, I'd like to show you XFX Sports Graphics from Industrial Revolution. Sports Graphics is a dynamic set of broadcast quality graphics for sports TV and video production. Sports Graphics was designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find them in the Titles, Transitions, and the Generators browsers under XFX Sports Graphics. Skimming through these titles, you can quickly see all the different options you have for displaying lower thirds, team rosters, standings, player bios, and on-screen score bugs. Let's start with Score Current to check out all the options. I'll apply it as a connected clip on top of a clip in my timeline. Moving over to the title parameters, we have a lot of ways we can customize the look of this graphic. We have build-in and build-out animations we can toggle on and off. We can reposition the graphic using the vertical position slider. Note the default position is within the action safe zone for broadcast. I'll go ahead and choose my two team logo images using the drop zones. I can control the pan and scale of the logos to position them perfectly. This graphic has six built-in color schemes to choose from. I'll select green and blue. Or to match your team's colors, you can create your own custom palette by choosing your theme and selecting all the different line and text elements colors with the color pickers below. Finally, I can edit my text right on screen and I have complete control of all the text elements, including font and color by going over to the text panel. That's all it takes for a great score title. Next, I'd like to show you a useful way to display information by stacking multiple copies of the bullet point title on top of the bullet point backplate. Let's drag the backplate onto our next clip. The backplate allows us to stylize it in familiar ways. We can toggle on and off the build-in, build-out animation. We can adjust the vertical position, backplate height, and opacity. I'll choose the black and yellow color scheme. This will make the backplate black. Then I'll attach a bullet point to that. Next, I'll select the bullet point and choose the black and yellow color scheme, which gives us a yellow bullet and white text. We have several different bullet styles to choose from. I'll go with triangle. Again, I can adjust my text attributes from the text panel. Once I'm satisfied with the look, I'll simply duplicate the bullet on the timeline and adjust its vertical position. I'll repeat these steps until I have my list. Next, I'll adjust the height of the backplate to fit my list. I'll select all the bullets and move them to stagger their start times every 12 frames. If I want a second page of data, I could simply duplicate the bullet points to build on after these. Finally, I'll drag the full frame title template on top of the bullet list and match it to the colors below. And I'm done. Next, I'd like to show you the transitions that come with the sports graphics pack. In the transitions browser, under XFX Sports Graphics, we have two wipes that integrate with the rest of the graphics. I'll drag the wipe left transition between two clips on my timeline. In the parameters, I have a drop zone for my logo. I'll scale the logo down so it fits on screen. I'll choose the black and white color scheme for this instance. And now we have a great transition branded with our logo. Finally, Sports Graphics also gives you a loopable background generator you can find in the Generators browser. Simply drag it to the timeline and choose a color scheme for an easy, dynamic background for your graphics. Whether you're in charge of all the graphics for a broadcast sporting event or your child's sport highlight videos, Sports Graphics adds a unique and professional sheen to your footage. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.